Hello Talkers, this is Ruth Finney with today's Talk Inspired Practice. I can't think of any more uncomfortable feeling than the feeling of numbness. You know like how awkward it feels when your foot goes to sleep or when your mouth is numb from going to the dentist? For a moment it's like, wow, this is weird. But when it lasts too long, it can get annoying because when you're numb to something that's attached to you, it can begin to feel like dead weight you're carrying around that's hindering you from the things you need and want to do. And naturally, our first thought is to let it go or to get rid of it. But depending on how attached it is, that can be difficult to do. We can't just cut off our lip or our right foot because we need it. Well, sometimes this type of numbness can occur in our relationships and we become numb to the behaviors that used to annoy us, numb to the situations that used to worry us, numb to the offenses that used to come out of our significant other's mouth, numb to any attempts of affection and even numb to the voices that are trying to guide us back to caring again. Numbness is dangerous for a relationship because it increases is the risk of injuries that cause long-term damage that's harder to recover from. If you feel yourself becoming numb to the issues in your relationship, find something within the relationship that you can allow yourself to care about again and begin focusing on that area to help bring some life back to those numb areas. For instance, if you all both had a common interest, a hobby or a project around the house that you were working on, get back into it. If you both share a love for animals or kids or community improvement or activism or mission work or even travel, find a way to incorporate these things back into your lives and you'll begin to feel some life creep back into those deadened areas. Connection is critical to maintaining life and a relationship. And in order to stay connected, we have to nurture those areas of commonality. So find the thing outside of the relationship that you both love and can do together and watch the love begin to creep back into the relationship. If you can relate, become a talker and check out my tips and other content or click that bell and come chat with me on a live session and learn more ways that you can talk your way to the healthier relationships that you desire and you deserve. Until next time, be the light.